Hey everybody, Christian here. I'm super, super excited to be at Hasuracon 2020. I'm really excited for what I have in this talk today, but we have a very limited amount of time, so I'm just gonna hop right into it. So I'll make sure to put these slides in the kind of bottom part of this video. You'll be able to see that URL, and I'll also be in the live chat answering questions and making sure to put a link to the slides as well. So with that, let's hop into it. So my name is Christian Freeman. I'm a developer advocate for a product called Cloudflare Workers, and I'm also a kind of full-time YouTuber and video maker. Um, you can find my channel on YouTube. I'll put it down in the bottom again, a URL. It's called Byte Sized, and I also organize a free remote conference called ByteConf. Um, so of course, I'm really excited about HasuraCon and to see other um, remote events and stuff going on. And finally, I'm a full stack developer. So I've been working with React and serverless and GraphQL and all kind of interesting stuff in this ecosystem um, for a long time now. And all of the stuff in this talk is basically a culmination of kind of experiments and things I've been working on in the last year. So I'm really excited for you to take a look at it. And I think you'll find it um, as exciting as I do. So first, let's talk talk a little bit about how web applications work right now. So traditionally, applications use what's called a client and origin model. And the idea is basically that um, as a user of a website, I'm usually referred to as a client. So like my iPhone, my TV, my fridge, like all of this stuff that has basically um, a connection going out to different services, to different APIs, that is a client. And my origin is where those requests go to. So it's usually something like, you know, a big data center somewhere in like North Virginia or something like that. And requests go into that origin and we get you know, responses back. And what this means for most users is that your app is pretty fast. It usually depends on where you are in the world. So for instance, me in Austin, Texas, you know, my latency to most applications is pretty low. Latency being that time that the request takes. So for me, you know, I'm in Austin, Texas. The average server is in like the West Coast or East Coast of the US, right? A lot of it is in the US. And I'll usually find that my latency for most applications is super, super low. But for a lot of people around the world, right, we're all developing applications for people who are, you know, in different countries and different, like literally different halves of the world. That model kind of starts to break down because your origin isn't anywhere near where your users are. So Cloudflare Workers is a interesting kind of approach to this concept. It's a serverless platform that lets you deploy JavaScript to Cloudflare's really, really big network. So traditionally, Cloudflare's data centers have been used for things like bot management, load balancing, and uh, like CDN style, you know, serving assets from a, a pretty close and pretty quick cache. But um, as we developed more and more of these data centers around the world, we realized, hey, we have these data centers. Why not let people actually deploy code on top of them? And so Cloudflare Workers is a new deploy platform for deploying JavaScript code specifically. So you can use WebAssembly to deploy things like Rust and C++ and all kinds of other things. But in this case, obviously, you know, we're talking about GraphQL and we're going to be dealing in the JavaScript ecosystem. And so with Workers, you can deploy your application, your JavaScript application, to about 200 cities in like 90 countries, it's a huge number. And the result is basically that for the average user, you're going to be running your application within literally milliseconds of where they are. So this really big sort of web of data centers around the world is called the edge. And deploying stuff to the edge is called edge computing. I personally, as you might guess, working as a developer advocate for Cloudflare Workers, I'm super, super excited about edge computing as like a new platform for deploying applications. And coming from a GraphQL and sort of like full stack development background, I'm really excited specifically for what it means for GraphQL and for that whole kind of ecosystem generally. Okay, so where do Hasura and GraphQL fit in? Obviously, we're at HasuraCon, we're talking about GraphQL. I imagine all the other talks today have been about GraphQL. So I come from a Rails background, which means for, you know, if you've done Rails or things like that, you know that a lot of people are using like Postgres. So I've always been really into Hasura, basically from like day one that I saw it because I was like, oh, it's Postgres, which is like a software and, and a piece of technology that I have used in many, many other applications and basically trust like my life with, not literally, but basically. And uh, it's GraphQL, which is this technology, you know, when I first discovered Hasura, it's this technology that I'm really starting to fall in love with. I'm like, wow, I, I want to use GraphQL for everything. And so since the time I first saw it, I've been really, really excited about Hasura. And so the GraphQL part of this has always felt like a thing that... Uh, 
you know, still could be optimized even more so, right? Like there's further things. GraphQL is such a new technology. There's so many exciting things that we can explore here. And so my mind went to, okay, you know, when I started at Cloudflare Workers, I was already using Hasura for a lot of things. And so I said, how can I take these two things and, and kind of put them together? How can I take edge computing? How can I take Hasura and GraphQL? And how can I kind of combine them in a way that is exciting and interesting and has like interesting um, implications technologically? And so the first thing I think that kind of comes to mind as to like what you can do with this technology is scalability. So, you know, your Hasura GraphQL engine is running basically as an origin, right? Like in my case, all of my stuff runs on Heroku. So I have this kind of place where my Hasura app is being deployed again, probably in like North Virginia or something like that. And all of my GraphQL requests are going to that place. But if I add a Cloudflare workers application in front of that serving in between the client and the origin, there's a lot of really interesting things that can be done. So I want to show you what that looks like because I actually have an example project that I'm really excited about. I've been working on over the last month or so, and I think you'll think it's really cool. Hopefully, like I do. Um, so this is Workers GraphQL Proxy. In the past, I've been working on a Workers GraphQL server, which basically is a Apollo GraphQL server um, at the edge. That's cool, but Hasura does a lot more than that, right? And backs it up with like a very, very cool um, Postgres interface. And so what Workers GraphQL Proxy does is it sits in between your client requests and in between your Hasura origin. It sits in kind of the middle there at the edge and it does caching, it does query validation, it caches your schema, it does all kinds of crazy awesome stuff. And it's all JavaScript. It's just using the GraphQL um, package that is basically included in like every implementation that you can think of, um, of GraphQL technology in JavaScript. I actually was inspired pretty heavily by Hasura's own GraphQL um, CLI tool to kind of understand like how they get their own schemas and, and do all that stuff. So thanks to whoever worked on that, that was really helpful for me. So I only have a little bit of time, so I'm gonna kind of jump through the rest of this here. Um, let me show you some kind of quick stats about it. I'm really excited about this so far. So I tested this using a number of different places around the world, different data centers with different sort of latency implications. And really like without any optimizations, it's like as bare bones as you can get. The uh, kind of average response time is really promising. So a lot of the time you'll see that actually the origin and the kind of edge proxy uncached, they actually end up being even, which is pretty interesting. I think it probably goes to show that Heroku is doing their own optimizations around this stuff. But the really exciting stuff happens when we actually get the ability to deploy code, not just like simple caching, but like full on like GraphQL schema parsing at the edge. And we can see that pretty much every single one of these, so Houston, Sydney, Berlin, Seoul, and Cape Town, right? Like all over the world, vastly, vastly different latency implications. Um, the average time for edge proxy cached, which is like making a request to Hasura, taking that data back and caching it is way, way faster. In some cases, uh, like we're talking like under 100 milliseconds, which is pretty wild. So I'm really excited to be open sourcing this today because it is very, very early days. In fact, I would like explicitly say don't use the caching stuff in production. Probably it works really well for like public data, but it hasn't seen a lot of testing with authenticated data or anything like that. Um, but of course, like I would love help on this and I would love to talk to all of the GraphQL experts here who are doing this stuff at a really massive scale and get your thoughts on it. Um, it's just signal nerve slash workers GraphQL proxy on GitHub. Um, I'll make sure to link it in kind of the slides and stuff like that uh, for this talk. So in conclusion, I'm really, really excited about GraphQL and the Edge. And as a really uh, kind of longtime user of Hasura for all different kinds of side projects, um, I think it's really a no brainer to try to explore this stuff and have it sit in between your clients and in between your origin, which is your Hasura GraphQL engine. And uh, it you know, at least it should make things a lot easier to scale, especially when you kind of add that caching stuff. But there's also a number of security benefits and a number of kind of cool GraphQL specific things that you can be doing with this. You know, things like refreshing uh, your GraphQL responses with data at the edge and things like that that I'm really excited about. So if you're interested in learning more about this project um, or Cloudflare Workers or any of this kind of stuff, please reach out to me on Twitter or via email. I'll put that in the live chat and I'll put that in the slides as well. Thank you to Hasura for having me. I'm really excited to get a chance. Uh, I've been a very long time fan of Hasura and been friends with those guys for a while. So I'm really excited to get a chance uh, to show this stuff off to you. Thanks and enjoy the rest of the conference.